One thing Serena Vander Woodson was terrible at? Picking the right guy to date? Historically, she always chose boyfriends who were absolutely terrible for her. Here is proof that every single boyfriend Serena had on Gossip Girl was toxic AF. Ben Donovan Serena's relationship with Ben Donovan was toxic because they met for the first time while he was a teacher at her boarding school. She tried to seduce him, and he respectfully rejected her advances. Things went completely south for his entire life when Serena's mother got him locked up for statutory rape, even though he didn't hook up with Serena at the time. He then plotted with his sister, Juliet Sharp, to get revenge on Serena. When he learned that Lily was the bad guy all along, he softened up and started dating Serena. But there were too many complicated issues behind them for a healthy relationship to thrive. His revenge plot with Juliet should have been enough to make Serena want to steer clear of him forever. Max Harding Serena dated her cousin's ex-boyfriend, Max Harding, for a brief period of time. The relationship itself was too short-lived to be problematic, but who he was as a person certainly was an issue. He was super toxic because he was threatening to blackmail Charlie Ivy to receive funding for his restaurant plans. Although he didn't blackmail Serena, the fact that he was capable of doing such a thing speaks volumes about his character. He wasn't the type of boyfriend someone like Serena should have. Gabriel Edwards Gabriel Edwards was another toxic ex-boyfriend of Serena's since he was a con man and grifter. He didn't actually have feelings for her at the beginning, and he was totally cheating on her with Poppy Lifton. Even after he developed feelings for Serena, it was too late for them to have something genuine and real. Trip Vanderbilt Serena pursued an affair with Trip Vanderbilt, even though she knew he was married. It was one of the sleaziest things she did in the entirety of Gossip Girl. When they got into a car accident, he left her in the car after moving her body from the passenger seat to the driver's seat. Like, he definitely could have cared less if she died. Her relationship with Trip was as toxic as it gets. Carter Bazin Serena's relationship with Carter Bazin was toxic because Carter himself was generally a toxic person. He screwed over a wealthy family and owed them a massive amount of debt. He tried to swindle Nate Archibald in a gambling plot, and he encouraged Blair to be rebellious at a time when she was going through emotional turmoil. Carter might have been nice to Serena while they were dating, but based on his toxic tendencies, who knows when he would have switched up on her too. His track record was trash. Carter was a terrible romantic match for Serena and she had no business dating him. Aaron Rose Aaron Rose was never a great boyfriend for Serena since he had serious commitment issues. His toxicity came from the fact that he thought it would be fine to date multiple girls at once by simply adding Serena to his roster. Colin Forrester Colin Forrester was a professor at Serena's university, which means he automatically should have been off limits. The toxicity of the student-teacher dynamic was something Serena should have instantly run away from. Steven Spence The relationship dynamics between Serena and Steven were toxic since she started everything out as a lie. She told him her name was Sabrina. When she finally did tell him the truth about herself, she was thrust into a stepmotherhood role with his teenage daughter Sage. Serena was only a few years older than Sage, which made her relationship with Steven even more cringeworthy. Nate Archibald the sleazy foundation of Serena and Nate's relationship meant they were never going to have their happily ever after. It all got started when they hooked up at the Shepherd wedding while he was still in a full-fledged relationship with Blair. Serena drunkenly helped Nate cheat on her own best friend. Nate and Serena never stood a chance with such a guilt-ridden foundation beneath them. They reconciled years later and watched their love story crumble before their eyes. Was the failure possibly a result of their karma? Dan Humphrey as a Gossip Girl fan, if you're still questioning how Dan and Serena ended up together, just know that you're not alone. This was probably Serena's most toxic relationship since Dan was secretly posing as Gossip Girl and sharing inappropriate secrets about Serena on the internet for the entirety of his time knowing her. His willingness to expose her deepest secrets on his blog proves that he was her most toxic partner ever. Who do you think was Serena's most toxic boyfriend? Let us know in the comments section.